Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Zainab here. Today we're going to be painting this foggy landscape which is perfect since we're in fall. So grab your paints and let's begin. So for supplies today I'm going to be using a size 10 round brush. I also have a size 2 liner brush, this is going to be for the smaller details and then I've got a very large brush and this is just to um, get the page wet where I need it to be. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to be painting sort of like a pond lake and then also the trees. So what I like to do when I do a misty effect is I don't want to wet the entire page. What I am going to do is I'm just going to, the composition is going to be about the pond up to here and then the trees up there. So we're going to have more water than trees. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to glide it across where the lake view is going to be starting. And I'm just going to roughly drag that across and just stop anywhere around here. And then the same for the trees, I'm going to add some water but not go all the way to the top. This is because for the effect of the mist, you want some parts of the trees to be quite crisp and then some of them to be quite blended. Going in with our size 10, I'm going to pick up some of the undersea green. I have, for colours, I've got undersea green, yellow ochre, burnt umber and then just a less saturated version of the undersea green. So I'm just going to start by pushing in the green. I'm not really going to be trying to create a tree shape as of yet. This is going to be quite a large tree that we have on the side here. So I'm just going to be taking it upwards like so. Maybe a smaller one here. We're just making the shapes of trees as of now. I am using 100% um, cotton paper. so we are not in a rush. If you're using cellulose paper, you have to act a lot faster because the paper tends to dry quicker and then it's very hard to go in and correct. So we're just gonna add these trees just like this. I think we're gonna leave it like that. And now we're going to do the same at the bottom. So whatever reflection you have, I'm gonna leave a bit of space empty where we can have some grass. And we're now just gonna go in and we're going to Put in the reflection in the water of any of the trees that we've had, that we've put down. I'm going to maybe add actually a bit more water to our large tree because I think it's quite. We want there to be a distinctive difference between the two. And then going in with a more concentrated version of the green, we're going to go and darken and add a bit of shade towards one side of our trees. This is just going to add some shadow and give that depth. And now you can start doing sort of leafy shapes, but it is still going to blend out very smooth and not be entirely visible. So as you can see, it just it blends out completely. Whilst it's wet, it's just going to to do that. Okay, so now we're going to go in with our yellow ochre and we're just going to add it. It doesn't matter if it blends in with the green, it's actually fine because it's going to have grass in it so it's absolutely okay. And then just push a bit of that yellow ochre into the reflection. So that's visible and then go in with some green and just add that at the bottom. I'm 
Okay, now just taking a clean brush, we're just going to go in and we're going to blend, blend these trees out. So actually can swap to a bigger brush. We're now going to create that misty effect by just getting rid of the very harsh edges. And this is where we're going to go back and forth, add a bit more colour to the trees, add a bit more shape and then also go in and blend it out. So we're just blending this out so now the sky is sort of the same colour as the trees. And then doing the same with the pond, we're going to do lines forward and backwards to get the effect of the water and then bringing that all the way down. This is our first base layer. You can also go in and add some extra trees by just doing sort of up and down dabs. Okay, so we're going to let this dry and then we'll come in and add in our second coat. So now that the first layer is pretty much dry. I think there's a few wet patches left but that's fine. I'm going to go in with my size 2 brush and I'm just going to pick up some more of the undersea green. And what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start creating the very tips of the trees. So if I'm, let's say I've got a tree here, which I do, I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to bring it down like this and just stop about a third of the way and then I'm going to add some rough jagged leaves not doing anything too specific but just making it obvious that there is a tree there and I'm going to leave it like that and I'm going to do this for the rest of the of the landscape so I'm going to add another tree here and I'm just going to add again a tree and what what this is doing is it's creating the effect of the mist in the fact that certain parts of the tree are visible and very sharp to the eye and then the rest of the tree as you can see at the bottom here is more misty and very blurry so I'm going to repeat this until I've done all the trees the tops of the trees here I'm now going to go in where we've placed the little piece of grassland and I'm going to add in sort of little strokes in some of the places just to give the effect of grass running through and this is just going to be we're not doing this everywhere we're just doing this in some places just to add a little bit of definition. Okay, and now the same thing that we've done for the top of the trees, we're now also going to repeat the same at the bottom. Now I recommend you take your paper and you actually turn it around. It is very challenging to paint trees upside down so this is what I do, I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to paint again just some of the tops of the trees, not every single one, in the reflection of the water. Okay, 
Okay, so just like here, there is a tree, so I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to just more do more sort of a water reflection type of tree, which is basically you do things more in a in a sort of a line. This is a beautiful green by Daniel Smith. I'm just going to be placing these where I think sort of matches the, the trees on the other side and then you can go in with a clean slightly damp brush and blend it out. I think we're going to leave the reflection of the water like that so I'm going to turn it back around now. Just going to go in with a little bit of yellow ochre, still using my size 2 and just where sort of the water is I'm going to add in a little bit of pond pond circle I guess you can, I don't know what it's called, pond lines just a little bit and then doing the same thing with the green I'm doing it here on the outside as well just adding that little bit more definition to make it clear that it is water Okay, and then I'm going to take a clean wet brush and I'm going to soften those lines because I definitely don't want them to be harsh. And there you have it, a simple and easy way just using two or three colours and it gives off this really beautiful effect of a landscape. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give this video a like and subscribe and I will see you in my next tutorial.